Evening guys, welcome to the uh, fourth episode of my obscure and dead and failed CCGs. Uh, this week it is Redakai. Uh, Redakai was released in, in 2011. Uh, it's a pretty cool game actually. It was um, it was using characters from the, the setting in the original US uh, US series that debuted in, in 2001. So I don't know if you're going to see these guys too well on the camera, but they use this kind of weird technology that makes the card move they're all kind of transparent and uh they all have this weird moving action like you can't really see it that well on all the cards but they have this uh this animation with all your your characters and essentially it's you know there's two versions of this game you start off uh essentially in reddick eye players trying to eliminate the characters controlled by the opponent to win the game uh in the basic game each player starts with, with one character so you know, you've got you got Zane here. Uh, and you draw a card from your deck and you play it immediately. So if I played that one, you know, boom. And, and they essentially overlay over. So you see at the top it's eliminated one of his lives. And as you play the game, you stack over each one and and slowly eliminate, uh, eliminate each player's. Later on in the game, when you get to the... Uh, the more advanced version of the game, you start off with uh, with three players, uh, and you have monsters that you can you can upgrade and you can use to power up your characters. And there's there's added effects and stuff. So you got this guy here. When this hits, you may put a card from your discard pile on top of your deck. Uh, and essentially, the, the rules are the same. It's it's kind of take away the, the the three lives of each character, and the first one to do that that wins. So. Uh, the cards are really cool. Um, if you get a couple of packs, you see them up close. Like they look a hell of a lot better than they do on this on this camera. But um, they're all kind. Of, I don't know what they're, I think it's lenticular or whatever the uh, the phrase is. But you know, this one is a bit easier to see on the camera. Uh, oh, another Zane! Hooray! Uh, so, but I, I don't think it really took off because they released this game and. You know, they said this magic new technology, it was amazing and blah, blah, blah. But they, they found that as an excuse to charge, like, way more for the, the boosters. And in a, in a really competitive world where there's so many card games vying to get the the central spot, it you know, the price made the massive difference. So uh, I don't think this kind of took off. They they gave out these, like, launch, these boxes because... You can card count, like you can see who's a character, you can see who's a monster from the from the bottoms of the cards. You know that's a, that's a monster, that's a a damage card. You can also see what kind of thing it does. So it's quite easy to to kind of predict what's coming out your deck. And they they release these boxes. You could stack them in, and you could sort of like blind draw them out and stuff. But the problem is, is that the the boxes only held like forty cards, and you wanted a sixty card deck and and things like that. So it was kind of ill-conceived um so it's so really weird and you have things like kairu points and stuff you can use to do different things and then there's like react ability so once you get to the more advanced game it's actually quite cool it's just the fact that in its heyday it cost more than every other card game out there so uh it's it just it just didn't didn't happen like and considering at the same time there were things like the you know the the Star Wars franchise brought out just like normal playing cards that had this this technology on, and that did not cost the world. So the whole like whizzy new technology was their excuse to charge more. It it kind of didn't really wash, and I I don't think it worked worked that well. But but the cards are amazing. Like the cards look awesome. Uh, the animation it's a real cool spin. But I just think for the for the price at the time, the it it just didn't it didn't wash and. And unfortunately, it, there were problems with the game where there were certain monsters that you you kind of overlay on top of your characters, and they just some of them are horribly overpowered, and there's some that's like a, like a one turn knockout and stuff, and yeah, it just yeah it didn't take off. But you know, if you if one packs and you want a cheap game to go, you can pick up like a booster box for for about 20 quid now so if you want a cheap game to to crack out and give it a go the starter decks are pretty cheap um there's a lot of surplus on ebay so you know i'd, I'd still recommend trying it out uh but yeah there we go thanks guys have a good one